Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Okay, so this particular question is aimed at roughly about grade 7 for GCSE. Now it is a quadratic formula question and the way that we know that is it says give your solutions and importantly it says correct to two decimal places. So what we're looking for is to apply the formula x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now you might find that in the front of your exam paper or it's something that you might need to learn. I think that for most of the exam papers it's given on the formula sheet and it's fairly straightforward to apply because if we look at the actual question itself we've got 3d squared plus 3d minus 7. So the first value there is the value of a. a equals 3. The second value is also 3 and then the third value now be very careful here that's going to be minus 7 and then really it's just a case of taking this information and applying it directly in. Now the way I do it is I tend to use brackets. Now the reason that is is because if the value of b say was negative it just makes it a little bit easier when I'm calculating. Now in this particular case it's positive for the value of b however what I do find is that the value of of C is actually going to be a negative value. Okay, and that would be then applying all of the information that I've got. The important thing with this then is to work out this area here, which is called actually the discriminant. So what I end up doing is in my calculator, I end up getting rid of the brackets, but I get two solutions. One when it's plus the information underneath the square root, which is going to be 93, and that's all over 6, or minus 3 minus the information underneath the square root, and again, that's over 6 as well. And when I feed that into a calculator, I'm going to get two solutions. The first one is going to be 1.107275. The second one is going to be minus 2.107275 as well. So to two decimal places, the answer to the question will be 1.11 or minus 2.11 and that's again to 2dp. Okay and that would be the answer to this particular question. Okay so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.